guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Now, a lot of us are staying at home and I got a lot of requests from you guys to make an easy, simple, staying at home recipe. So that is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. A lot of people have been making bread, so much so that the yeast at the store is sold out. I went to a bunch of different grocery stores and there's no yeast, all the yeast is gone. So I thought, let's make a yummy, simple bread recipe that you don't need yeast for. And that recipe today is going to be my mom's banana bread recipe. That is right, I am sharing a family recipe with you all and my mom got this recipe from our grandma so this banana bread recipe has been in our family now for three generations oh <laughs> Okay, and I'm really excited to share it with you because it is really simple, it uses simple ingredients, and it is delicious. Mo knows, she's over here hanging out with me, and when my mom makes a loaf of this bread, it does not last one day in our house. Nope. We go, um, nom, 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 nom. It is gone. Just slowly throughout the day, the whole thing disappears. I think it's this banana bread recipe and mom's apple pie. Mm. They don't survive. I also really like this recipe because it's not wasteful. Now, if you have fresh fruit in the house, sometimes it goes bad really quickly. And the reason I love banana bread is because if you get these old bananas, I don't like it when they start looking brown. I don't like that kind of, you know, I don't really, like them that much. So when they get to this stage, there's only two options in my house. One, we chop them up and freeze them so you can throw them into a smoothie later on. Or two, we're making banana bread. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Too much excitement, which is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. If you guys like these simple baking recipes, let me know, give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video, because I am baking a lot, and I'm making a lot of other fun videos that I don't want you guys to miss. All right, now, and let's get started. This banana bread recipe makes one loaf, and I'm gonna be putting all of the ingredients and their measurements in the description down below, so if you'd like to make it at home, you can. I had to make fun of my mom. I <laughs> took a picture of her recipe. Her recipe is so old that it the paper had turned brown. So I saved these files on my computer and then I printed it out and I was like, mom, this we gotta get you a recipe book and get you up to date. This is looking, Molly, this was falling apart. It had been laminated and you can see where the lamination in the picture was and it's peeling off. This is very sad. Mom, you've got great recipes, but we're gonna help you get organized. This is just silly. First step to making Mama Mia's banana bread is in a medium bowl. We're gonna add our flour, salt, and baking soda. So that's two cups of flour. It's just all-purpose flour. Quarter teaspoon salt and one teaspoon of baking soda. Then whisk together until well combined. Once that's well combined, I'm gonna set this off to the side and grab a big mixing bowl. Now in this big mixing bowl, we're gonna cream together our butter and sugar. Add one cup of sugar and half a cup of soft butter to the bowl. Then cream them together until it's light and fluffy. I'm using an electric hand mixer to make things a little bit easier. I'm gonna be putting on a medium speed. Perfect. Look how fluffy it is. Next up, add two eggs. We're gonna be adding the whole egg. Crack, in we go, crack, in we go. Oh no, I tried to do one-handed egg crack and the egg was too cold. Don't, act don't actually add the shell. So you add the whole egg, but not the shell. <laughs> Mom, don't look at this part. I did not just do that. I love you. Then mix again till well combined. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is looking really good. Now it's time to mash some manners. Fun fact, banana is one of the few words that rhymes with my name, Rosanna. Rosanna banana. Cause what other words rhyme with Rosanna? Fanana, banana, banana. <laughs> That's not a word. Okay, anyways, let's peel these bananas. Oh, gross. I hate when they get this color. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you like a banana that's more ripe? Or do you like them? Ooh, ooh. Do you like a really fresh banana that's almost a little green? Or do you like them when they're right in the middle? Or do you like them very ripe? Because I know people, I have friends, who like their bananas at different stages. I tend to lean towards the greener, 
middle of the road ripe side. When they're really ripe, they really creep me out. Banana bread and smoothies are about the only way I would eat them. Oh, they're just so soft. Ew, just, they just look like mush. <laughs> mushy, mushy, ew. You know, I'm all about texture and this is just gross. But somehow when you bake these old sad bananas into banana bread, they taste so good. They taste phenomenal. It's like what they were made for. This or a smoothie with lots of other fun ingredients so you can't taste them. Ugh. Now our family likes a lot of banana. We always use four bananas if we got them. If we don't have them, we'll go, we'll settle for three, but our banana bread recipe has a lot of nanners. Mama Mia uses one of these to mash up her bananas. This is a potato masher. In a big bowl, just mash together your bananas and they should mash pretty easily because they're really soft. Like, really soft. Ugh. My dog Blueberry Muffin just went <laughs> She perked up. She was like, nanners! Blueberry Muffin loves bananas. This is a fruit that dogs can have a little nibble of. This is dog safe. Blueberry, you want a treat? Okay, I'll give you a little bit of nanner, but not too much. Okay, just a little for Blueberry. You can have just a little bite, okay? There you go, good girl, good girl. Okay, back to baking. Once the bananas are all mashed, we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one teaspoon of milk. And mash them up one more time. Let's mix them around. All of our mixtures are ready. We've got our banana mixture, our butter mixture, and our flour mixture. So we're gonna alternate adding like our dry ingredient flour with our banana to the butter. What I mean by this is you're just gonna start with the dry, add a little bit, and then we're gonna mix it up and then add some banana, mix it up. Add some more dry, mix it up. Add some more banana, mix it up. Just alternate. It's not an exact science. Sometimes my mom only alternates a couple times and sometimes she does it more. You just wanna make sure to alternate. Ooh, batter's up. This is a nice, thick banana bread batter. I am loving this. This is so good. Before we pour it into the pan to bake, I'm gonna add half a cup of chopped nuts. Mama Mia uses walnuts and I love them. Now this is half a cup, but I might put in a few more because I just really like the texture. So let me just, I'm just gonna put just, just a pinch more in. I got a few over here. I'm just gonna, mom, don't watch this part. Your, your recipe's great. I'm just making it a little better, okay? Don't look, mom. I love you. Okay, okay, that's fine. Using a spatula or a big wooden spoon, Fold your chopped nuts into the batter. And if you've never folded before, it's really easy. You're gonna take your spatula and you're gonna go underneath all the batter and pull it over the top and turn. Under, over, turn. We're doing this so our batter stays nice and light, airy, fluffy. Just keep folding until all the nuts are mixed in. Banana bread is ready. We're gonna pour all of this into a loaf pan. This is a nine by five and it's pretty tall. And the top is actually gonna be the top loaf of bread. My mom just greases these. She doesn't use parchment paper, which I don't know how I feel about this because I always put down a piece of parchment paper, but Mama Mia doesn't. She just goes for it. She greases this pan and pours in the batter. This video has now turned into, I try to make Mama Mia's recipe because I am, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it Mama Mia's way. We've greased the pan and I'm just gonna pour in all the batter. Oh, I'm terrified. Woo, banana bread is heavy. Grandma and Mama Mia knew their measurements. That's the perfect amount of batter. I'm just gonna smooth this out a little, gently, because I don't wanna decompress all the nice air, you know? Banana bread is ready to bake. You're gonna heat your oven to 350 degrees and bake this loaf for an hour and 10 minutes. I know it sounds long, but good things take time. Oh yeah, the banana bread is hot, 
fresh out of the oven and I gave it about 10 minutes to cool and it is looking and smelling amazing. You guys, I wish you could smell my house. The entire house smells like fresh banana bread. It smells delicious. And now we are gonna try to get this out of the pan. I'm testing Mama Mia's method of no parchment paper, so I'm a little bit nervous. I'm just gonna give it a jiggle, maybe loosen it up a little bit and hope for the best. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I feel it being a little loose. I'm liking this. Okay, let's try. Let's give it a go. Okay, the pan's really warm, but it's not too hot, so I can hold it. And I'm just realizing I've never taken a banana loaf out of a pan. I actually don't know how to do it. So I'm just gonna... And then plop it down. Oh my gosh. Woo! We did it! I think Mamma Mia would be proud, but before I get to, oh my gosh! Before I get ahead of myself, I'm gonna cut a slice and have a little taste. All right, we baked this baby. Now let's get a little taste. I'm gonna cut off the end. I never like the ends of bread. I'm never into it, so I might cut a couple slices. Well, I'll taste, you know what? I'll do a taste test with this. Oh my gosh. Y'all, that looks amazing. Look at that. Mmm. Let's take a taste. Make sure it tastes like Mama Mia's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. And there you have it, my mom's homemade banana bread recipe. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love sharing a family recipe with you guys. I love this banana bread recipe for a couple of reasons. One, it's super easy. The ingredients are very simple. And two, the recipe doesn't use any yeast, which is pretty hard to find right now. And a bonus reason, it's delicious. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This is why this banana bread does not last more than a day in our house. It just can't. I'll be posting a bunch of pictures and the recipe on all of my social medias and on my website, so go check it out. And if you guys make this recipe at home, take a picture and send it to me. Use hashtag Row Recipe or hashtag Rosanna Banana and I will find it. I just love seeing your baking creations. It makes me happy, it makes my day. I really hope you all enjoy this recipe as much as I do. This recipe has been in our family for years, from my grandma to my mom to me and now to you guys. If you enjoyed this baking video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Because I am baking a lot at home and I'm also making many other fun videos. Some that include my dog Blueberry Muffin and they're pretty cute. All right, you guys, thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. And if you'd like to watch the other videos, you can click up here or up here. Mm. Come with me, lunch. Ha, 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 ha.